नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस बैलेंस ऑफ नेचर एंड कॉन्जर्वेशन नाउ यू नो दैट इन अ फॉरेस्ट द टाइगर ईट्स डियर देर आर फ्यू टाइगर्स बट लॉट्स ऑफ डियर लेट अस इमेजिन अ फॉरेस्ट विथ जस्ट टाइगर्स इन डियर the deer have babies fast and so their population increases quickly tigers keep killing deer to eat them and life in the forest goes on happily ever after what do you think will happen if there are no tigers in the forest hooray for the deer they will have no fear of anyone killing them but they will still go on reproducing as before the deer population will increase tremendously now you may think that is a good thing but the forest size remains the same the total amount of food in the forest remains the same but now there are more deer who have to share it as the population of deer increases they will start facing shortage of food eventually do you know what will happen the deer will starve to death it won't be such a happy forest after all what happened here the balance of nature was upset and so problems started happening when there were the right number of tigers and deer there was a balance their activities are related to each other if a change occurs in any of the related things the balance gets disturbed and nature is disturbed when balance of nature is upset problems started happening natural disasters like earthquakes volcanoes landslides tsunamis cyclones floods and other such things disturb the balance of nature nature gets back to its balance eventually You know that mosquitoes are a very serious problem. They sting us and make us uncomfortable. They also spread a lot of diseases. So, DDT would be sprayed to kill these insects. DDT would also kill a lot of other insects but would not be harmful to animals like humans, dogs, cats, cows, etc. DDT didn't dissolve in water either so even in the rains the effect of DDT would remain DDT was also cheap so people sprayed lots of it to protect themselves from insects as the rains fell some DDT seeped into the soil some DDT was washed off into rivers and streams animals don't pass ddt out of their bodies through their urine or poop when bigger animals ate these smaller animals the ddt passed on to them the eagles that had ddt in their bodies started laying eggs with weak shells the shells would break before the little baby eagles were ready to come out the number of eagles went on reducing and eagles were about to be extinct finally many countries banned the use of ddt some of the insects that were sprayed with ddt did not die even the babies they produced were resistant to ddt in this way using ddt interfered with the natural processes and affected the balance of nature factories use water for a lot of their processes when their process is done this water is dumped into the rivers lakes or oceans it contains lots of chemicals which affect the life of the plants and animals in the ocean hot water contains very little oxygen so if hot water is dumped the fish in that area get very little oxygen and some may die as a result when we are not careful about how we handle the air harmful gases make the earth warm this is called global warming because of this 
temperatures all over earth are increasing polar bears swim through the ocean to catch fish and rest on ice in between because of the warming up the ice sheets are melting and have become really thin when a polar bear sits on the ice it cracks under the weight and the polar bear has to keep swimming to find a new ice sheet many polar bears have died of exhaustion and drowned because they had to just keep swimming in nature things depend on one another as you have already seen plants depend on animals and animals depend on plants plants are our natural solar cells in the presence of sunlight and with the help of chlorophyll they make food they also take up water and some nutrition from the soil this helps them survive and also provides food to the grass eating animals which are known as herbivores some other animals eat these animals thus the energy gets passed on to them these animals then eat other animals which are called carnivores herbivores carnivores and plants all die some day when they do their bodies start decaying and mix with the soil as this happens the nutrition is returned to the soil it is ready for use by plants again can you see what a wonderful recycling system is working out here nothing is wasted everything is used over and over and over it all has a perfect balance with one another thus plants and animals depend on each other they also live in perfect balance with each other we humans keep upsetting this balance by hunting cutting down trees using pesticides and chemical fertilizers increasing soil erosion and all our other selfish activities new plants can be grown on earth but a tree takes a long time to grow we cut trees down and don't plant new ones so the number of plants is going on reducing too all natural resources that we use come from earth it takes hundreds and thousands of years for these fossil fuels to form we are taking them out and using them but now new fossil fuels are not getting formed it means that some day they will be over we dig out metals from the earth new metals are not getting formed we have to be careful and wisely use what we have this is called conservation we also kill many animals for meat leather and also for fun hunting is banned now but do you know the cheetah has become extinct from india due to hunting india used to have so many cheetahs now we do not have a single one that is because they were hunted down for fun and for profit some people like using alligator skin shoes stingray purses mink coats where do they come from they come from all these animals and because people are ready to pay high prices some hunters kill them and sell them for the money